born in Rwanda, uh, Kigali. Then I started playing basketball when I was uh, 14, really. But before that, I was playing a little soccer. I wasn't as tall as I am right now, but the transition was uh, part of my height, you know. And then uh, I got a chance to come in the U.S. Uh, I was in Tampa. I went to Tampa Bay Christian Academy. That's where I went for my freshman year to my uh, senior year. That's where I was in high school. So before that, I, I was uh, in Rwanda taking classes. Uh, as uh, I got recruited from Florida, obviously with the coaches and uh, them flying around to see me play and then they gave me an opportunity to come down to the Valley. I, I chose so because I came uh, on a visit and I pretty liked the environment, so I chose here. I started basketball at the age of 13, 14. We used to play soccer, me and Dan, but we started basketball kind of late, but because we loved it so much, we spent so much time in, on the basketball court that it helped us get better. To be honest, me even from being here is, is really big, you know, because it always just started as a dream. You know, they always tell me you was tall. You can play basketball, but, you know. But then when I stopped playing, and I liked, I loved it. I loved it. I mean, of course, it's my hobby. I always play soccer, even here, every now and then. But I love basketball, of course I had an advantage and it really helped me with the footwork. Because as late as I started, I picked it up as fast because you can't really tell. So soccer really gave me that, that benefit of having the footwork being able to use my feet. So that's one thing I really, you know, have that as an advantage. I mean, so far it's been great because America is like one of the countries that offers you most of the things other countries don't get to offer you. So. When I transitioned from my country to here, it was amazing because I got to, first of all, get my school paid for. Like most of those countries, like, don't do this. They don't give you the opportunity to pay for your schooling while you're playing sports for them. So I would say, like, that's one of the things I was really happy about. And basketball, too. Basketball-wise, I got to have, like, better competition that I had back home. So it was kind of grew me, like, as a player and as a person, too. Transitioning in the state, it was, I never had a culture shock. Of course, you know, old people always ask me, like, you come from way over there, you come here. Of course it's different, you know. The environment is different, people are different. The hardest thing is, uh, like y'all know, like most of the country infrastructure is like not like really big there. Like where I'm from, like you really don't get to see like any wood flows. So the first thing I was like wondering, like how do people get to stand on the wood floor and then be able to play basketball? So that was like the hardest thing because I felt like I won't have like any grips in my shoes. I'm used to uh, playing outside, playing on the street and stuff like that. So it's always like cement and stuff like that. Well, I've known Adonis since, I don't know, we was young, I told, I'd say about eight years old. So we was playing against each other, and the first time we got a chance to play against in the same team was our national team uh, under 18. It was the first time we played, and after that we moved. He moved to Florida as well, but he came before me. He's always a year ahead of me. So he came to U.S. a year ahead. He went at Tampa Prep, and I came following him. But even in Tampa, was not in the same high school, so we was always we would play each other. So it was kind of interesting. We always go at each other, and then now we came in the same team. On the court and off the court, Dan be my brother, like, since we was young. Like, like I said, like, we grew up together. We got our own apartment, and then we started playing basketball. We knew we had a chance to do something big for our country playing basketball, so it was like, you know what, let's take it serious. Yeah, I would say that that really helped our ball, like, grow bigger. And not only that, he was like that other person I always ask for advice if I didn't have anybody near me because we didn't have our parents near us. So it was just both of us. So he would be there like whenever I need like any help or anything. So I'm in business finance and I have a minor in international uh, entrepreneurship. And the reason why I went to business is that uh, I loved it. It's math, you know. Like you, this is didn't change, you know. From wherever you go, you know, one plus one is two. Everywhere you go. So I was going to do engineering, but it was tough and then time consuming. Even still business is really tough because uh, when you have to play and then be in the classroom, combining that is, is really hard. You know, 24 hours is not enough. And go and get a master's in engineering, not only because I love doing numbers and 
and physics and stuff like that, but I also love like seeing build like I, I like seeing new stuff. And by talking about new stuff, I want to like uh, help like my country be like as modern as every other country. So I really want to like do a lot of engineering, uh, civil engineering, like use my civil engineering degree like back home. So I would say that's the biggest reason why I want to be a civil engineer. People really don't believe how far a game can get you. We came from really far to like here. So I would say like people need to give like sports and ba basketball and sports in general like a chance to like see where it's going to get you because it's bigger than what you think it builds your friends it builds like how you going to live later on in life like i got a better life because of basketball so i would say uh, i'll tell other kids like that grow up the same way as me to give it a chance to see where it's going to get them